All right, y'all, I'm sick. All right. I got a cold, but it's something else I'm sick about, okay? I got oil flu. I'm sick of you Celtics fans thinking y'all actually got a chance to beat LeBron James in the conference. What are you thinking? Now, we got a lot of Celtics fans on Twitter. Oh, my God, Isaiah's the best part guy in the conference when y'all had him. But since you got Kyrie, oh, we're we going to win it all. Isaiah Thomas is not the best point guard in the conference anymore. What happened? What happened? Let me tell you guys something, okay, bro? I, I love Kyrie. Still my favorite point guard. I hate the fact he left, but I had to respect at the end of the day. You know what I mean? He will make a name for himself. You know, I, I can I have to go back and reevaluate myself. The fact that, you know, Kyrie did so much, you know, for the Cavaliers, but I gave all credit to LeBron James, which shouldn't have been that way. You know what I mean? I should have made it equal in a way, you know? Uh, but, um... No one has been on LeBron James. And Kyrie, he feel like he, he, he can challenge that. Kyrie on his Kobe he, on his Kobe swag. He feel like he can do his Kobe and Shaq thing. He feel like he can do his own thing. I respect it. You know what I mean? Uh, he showed, definitely got the talents for it, but um, he going to have to make a believer of a lot of us, man. Uh, thank you for all what you've done for us, Kyrie. I appreciate it, man. We got our first ring. You know, the best ring that ever was in NBA history, bro. And you was there to make it, bro. You made it happen, bro. You know what I mean? And um, even, let's say we don't win another ring ever. You still had a chance to get the best ring ever in NBA history. 3-1 ring. No one ever can ever beat that. 3-1, 7-3-9 team, bro. And th that's incredible, Kyrie. So I want to thank you, bro, for that, man. Um, you definitely uh, put some happiness in my heart with that, bro. Now, Celtics fans, just stop. Kyrie ever took more shots than Isaiah Thomas and Stephen Curry and wasn't that far from away from uh, points, okay? Isaiah Thomas can score just as good as as, as Kyrie Irving. Yeah, it's because, you know, Isaiah Thomas, he, he lack of defense a little bit more. He can't do the faded ways like him. Isaiah Thomas still put points up. You know what I mean? Don't knock, don't knock Isaiah Thomas, y'all, because he on there with LeBron James now. You feel me? You, don't be biased on it. You feel me? If anything, our bench is better. I feel like the Cavs won that trade, but you got to have to see how Isaiah Hip is. Now, I'm sorry I'm sick, but uh, this right here, Kyrie Irving explained the reason for leaving Cavs and possibly facing Cavs and LeBron playoffs. Y'all not going to win shit. Just stop it. Just stop. Stop. I'm sick, and it's making me mad. It's making me sicker. I got sick of selling you over here. You're not going to beat LeBron. Uh, Kyrie, you've said that you wanted to be in a place where you can maximize your potential. Why do you feel that Boston could be that place for you? Uh, well, uh, first and foremost, before we get into that question, um, before we uh, get dive into... Why you say that, dog? Players, Why you uh, say... You like a skeleton, dog. You shouldn't say that, bro. Up here you look stage. soft, dog. Um, and the opportunity that's... Uh, bro, you look soft and go to Hayward like a man over there, dog. Yeah. Um, but before we get to that... Um, I just wanted to say that uh, sometimes we get lost into these two hoops in this basketball, that um, the most humane things that make us human, um, we lose track of sometimes. And I want to take a time out to... Uh, Man, shout out to Gatorade, bro. Gatorade bought it right there, y'all. You know it's sponsored, bro. Cha-ching. Yeah, get the cash. You know, wish my, my well energy and, and heartfelt to uh, Jay Crowder um, and, his, and his mother, because um, that's a... Hard situation to go through, especially when we when it gets wrapped up in all this, um, as well as IT sister, and as well as those affected in Charlottesville. Kyrie is a genuine good dude, y'all. Um, you know what I mean? I never hear no nothing mixed about him. And I live in that world. You know, um, he he, he is a genuine good dude, bro. Me perfecting I, I my craft is very man. important to me. Um, but outside of this game, I live a very much real life, and um, I appreciate all the people around me as well, as <laughs> all the human beings that I end up meeting. Like. You guys remember when Isaiah Thomas, I mean, I was, excuse me, I see green, I think Isaiah Thomas, yeah. Um, you guys remember when Kyrie Irving, uh, chick cheated on him? He did not blow up on social media. He didn't do nothing like that, bro. If that was me, I'm putting that hoe on blast. He's a good dude at heart. I'm, I'm, I'm not a good dude at heart. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I'm putting you on blast, man. What you doing now? Unique, yeah, you see, I'm all about most good dude, good genuine dude, bro. Respect it. Um, and I just wanted to come out and say that that my appreciation for the world goes deeper than I think a lot of people realize. And um, I take my respects for all those people as well as everyone affected by anything. Um, you know, we're all here with you, and um, my prayers are with you. So, um, 
now that I said that, uh, now that I could officially move on to answering that, um, being a part of or getting the opportunity to be a part of such an illustrious organization such as the Boston Celtics, man, I grew up watching so many different films. And I asked Danny of, um, when we were at a dinner uh, if I could get a few of his VHS tapes. Kyrie, keep getting right to the point, bro. Right? We, uh, I can tell you right now, Kate, shout out to Jay Carter. You feel me? He going to fill us in. You know what I mean? I don't care about this, Kyrie. We don't care about this. We care about the, the, the man, the, 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 the GOAT, all right? LeBron James, all right? We need, we need to know why exactly you left him. I don't care about this other VHS tapes or what updated grades. I don't care about that, man. Now get to LeBron James part, bro. Why didn't you? That they had uh, such a, a great thing happen. Um, you're just appreciative, and I'm grateful. And I can't wait to get on the floor and uh, to maximize my potential. I just want to be around those incredible coaches and those incredible minds and incredible individuals at the exact time, and it was meant to be that way. So I uh, trust in that, and um, I'm glad to be here. Emotionally for you, what has the last week been like? The roller coaster, it's had to have been some sort of roller coaster. Is the Did I skip it? Work things out. Huh? Uh, well, throughout this time, Did I skip it in way? in the approach. Um, I knew what the intent was when I asked for the trade initially, um, and it just was left at that, um, just patiently waiting. So it was Dude, just, skip. Do fuck the bitch shit and make it the finals. Done, Facts. Brought the, the roller coaster wave of emotions. Um, but the important thing was, at the time, was <laughs> honestly coming off Facts. of the final loss and kind of not wild sorrows, but trying to figure out the next step in order to achieve Facts. that goal. And um, in doing that, uh, made it just a very courageous decision in order to take my, my myself and, and my intent and want to be a part of something bigger than myself. And whew, when Boston came and knocking, I was answering. So um, it, it was. Kyrie, you lied. If we would have traded you to the Brooklyn Nets, you would have you would have loved it. You just didn't want to play with LeBron James. Why? I don't care about this, to Kyrie, man. Just why, 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 why you left, man? Why, 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 why you left, man? Why you left, man? Ah! It was pretty awesome about the way it all transpired. Because um, throughout this time, I didn't say anything, not a word. And it was just assumptions and who said this said and this camp and this source. And I don't want to dive into that, but I didn't say anything purposely because that's not the real life I live in in terms of what you want, what this guy wants, and this person saying this way, and what you can and can't do. I have a daughter and I have a family that I love dearly. And once I knew that the team was going to uh, make a move, I, I was just patiently waiting. And, that was, and that's been the approach the whole entire time. Um, Kyle Hyatt, the Associated Press. Um, in your thank you note to, to Cleveland on Instagram, you, you referenced uh, Robin there as a 19-year-old kid and taking the next step now in your journey as a 25-year-old man. I'm curious what you think the next step in your evolution is and why you think it took switching locations to... Uh, to you know, what is important to you off the floor and how it's conducive for your development on the floor, then you start finding that importance and then it all starts making sense. Um, it took a few things for me to go through in Cleveland for me to understand that of learning the hard way. I mean, but we're all human beings, and I think that we've all been through a few hard times to where it's changed the landscape of what you think and what you Curry. think. Kyrie. The hard way, right? My fellow naked face brother, you must really have it hard. Even your boy looking at you like, you must really have it hard. You think you might go to the final? Do you know what happened when LeBron James went on the Cavaliers and when you led the team? Oh, you don't remember that, huh? Feel so. Um, it was it was my, it was my time to to do what was best for for me in terms of my intentions, and that's going after something bigger than myself, and honestly being in an environment that was conducive for my potential. And I think that statement is just self-explanatory because um, it's pretty direct in terms of what my intent is, and it's to be happy and be with a, a group of individuals that um, I can grow with. And that is not a knock on anything that has transpired in my six years because it was an unbelievable experience. And I mean, to think about what we accomplished in Cleveland and then individually as well, it bypasses the amount of moments that I had with all the special people out there. So that me leaving there wasn't about 
basketball it was more or less about creating that foundation of me in Cleveland and then now uh, taking this next step as a 25 year old evolving man and being the best basketball player I can be. Kyrie to your left about uh, four rows back here on the end. A lot of teams to beat in the East, but it's pretty clear. My name's Tom Lydon, Boston 25 News, by the way. A lot of teams to beat in the East, but it's pretty clear the team to beat the last three years has been Cleveland. I'm sure you've put some thought, now that you're on the other side, about what the key is to beating the team yes, like that, that has the track record it has of getting to the finals three years in a row. Um, from a strategic standpoint, I think that Coach Stevens can answer that better. Um, and... Uh, from the other standpoint of what reality is, uh, we haven't met or sat down with everyone as a collective and gone over the important things and important steps that it takes in order to build something special. So um, until we get to that point, I think I will have a better ans answer for you. But as of now, okay, uh, you're um, not acting dumb. You're not acting. You're not acting like the earth is flat. You're not well acting blitz. Gordon, and as well as the rest of my teammates and meeting them over the next few days. So Kyrie. Tom Westerholm with Mass Live. Um, from what you've seen as an opponent, what are you looking forward to about playing in uh, Coach Stevens' system? Uh, by the way, big fan of Mass Live, bro. Got some good highlight tapes. Mm. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I had one from the 2010 Spalding Hoop Hall class. <laughs> Man, I feel good. Uh, <laughs> Man, bro. Man, I, I think this interview is making me sick, man. I'm sick of hearing this, man. We want to hear straight up, bro. Why did you leave Cleveland? You can't give us a straight answer. All right? Because we all know in the back of our mind, it was a dumb move. You're not going to make finals. All right? But I understand why you want to make your own leeway. You want to maximize your potential. Kyrie, I'm a fair point guard. What more? Wh you want more shots? You shot more than Stephen Curry and Isaiah Thomas last season. You want more shots? Huh? Is it about points? Or is it about rings? What is it about, man? I just wish, I know he going to look back on this when he get older and say, man, I, I, I shouldn't have left. I know he going to look back on this guy when he get older, young and dumb. He going to be like, man, I wish I never left, bro. I remember when they lost. LeBron James grabbed him by the back of the head. He said, we coming back. LeBron James, and, and if you guys look at all the interviews and everything, LeBron James always commanded Kyrie. LeBron James, he read Kyrie like a book. You feel me? He know Kyrie think that think that he he bigger than, than than LeBron. But LeBron James got all the shine. LeBron James still shine light on Kyrie. If you guys can look at all the interviews, I'm, I'm not being biased here. You feel me? LeBron James respect Kyrie a lot. I know he felt salty the fact that why would anybody not want to play with me? I'm taking you to the finals. I, like, what? I'm, I, I'm a guaranteed finals guy. You don't want to play with me. You know what I mean? I know LeBron was looking at himself in the mirror like, bro, what did I do wrong with you, man? What, what, what did I do wrong here, bro? It's not, it's not my fault on LeBron James. It's not my fault I'm out here. I'm, I'm averaging more points than my team, than the other team, averaging more rebounds than the other team in the playoffs, and averaging more assists than the other team. It's not my fault. I'm just trying to win, Kyrie. It's not, it's not all about points for me. Oh man, Kyrie, I just fed you. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? How you, how you loud, Kyrie? How you loud, man? Um, <laughs> playing both ends of the floor, coach, <laughs> coaching as well as his coaching steps ahead. Man, uh, it's hard to make videos like this because you understand the magnitude of um, decisions that you make in your life can affect a lot of people um, all at once. And when you get to that point um, and you understand that the best intentions for you um, and ultimately to be in your truth and find out what you really want to do in your life and how you want to accomplish it, um, that moment comes and you take full advantage of it. And there are no. I don't know see much, Kyrie, man. Good luck to you, Kyrie. Hope all is well. Why are you doing it, man? Why are you doing it?
how you do it, Kyrie. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sick. And this, this, this just made me more sick, man. I'm out.